Hi, thank you for joining me today. And in today's video, I'm going to be documenting a photo of my husband and I and one of the River Mersey, which we live right next to. We'd been invited to one of James's friend's mum's <laughs> for a barbecue in the afternoon to celebrate her and her other son's birthday. Um, and it was just a short walk along the river. It's an absolutely gorgeous walk. And um, walking back in the evening, Amelia took a lovely photo of us and some gorgeous photos of the scenery. So I just wanted to document that. Uh, this was back in 2019, in July, and I'm going to be using the Simple Stories Wildflower to document this. I just thought it would work really nicely with the outdoor scenery. So focusing on the yellows from the collection, and um, as you can see, I've torn a diagonal piece to go along the top of the page. And then I wanted a second layer to go underneath that. So I, I hate waste. <laughs> so I've just cut a length and then it's trying to work out exactly how I can position that so that I don't have a white gap at either end. <laughs> so I do have to have a little bit of a fiddle. You can see where I put it at first, there would have been a white triangle at the bottom left hand side. So I'm just having to move that over a little bit and then check that I don't have a gap at the right hand side. So a lot of fiddling, but I get there in the end. All well, for the sake of saving a little bit of paper and goodness, I've got enough paper. <laughs> so I've curled up the edges of that yellow piece and I will curl up the edges of the pink piece ever so slightly. I'm not bothering with the water technique today because I don't want it to roll too, too much. I just want a little bit of movement on the page. So I um, just felt that this knob was a little bit too deep. So just tearing the edge off that and then I can get this situated at the top of the page. So just checking that it all fits, trimming off the excess pieces. And then I think at this point I glue it down. <laughs> you can hear from my voice, I've had a bit of a chest infection um, and lost my voice for a while there. So these layouts were done probably a week ago now and I've just been waiting, not very patiently, <laughs> to be able to voice them over before we go on our family holiday. So by the time you're watching this, I'll be back from the holiday and I will be fully recovered. <laughs> but uh, it's just a little frustrating at the moment. So I'm going through my stencils. I thought I'd leave this in to show you my process. Um, I keep these all in a 6x8 binder and I'm just having a look to see what I can use to add a stenciling underneath that layer of paper. So I settle on this leaf um, stencil. I think it's from some, a previous Simple Stories collection and I'm using Tim Holtz's new Lost Shadow ink to add this underneath that layer. And it's very subtle, it's a very subtle grey, but I really like the look that this gives and it works perfectly with this collection from Simple Stories. Wildflower is such a subtle, beautiful collection that you don't want to bring in anything too bold to overpower things. So just going along, um, overlapping the stencil and creating that stenciling beneath the paper. And now I'm going to work out where my photos are going to go. And I think it's at this point I decide that I want to add it onto white card. So um, just to create that layer between the pattern papers and the photos. So just adding a very thin border of white card all the way around each of the photos. And once that's done, I, I am going to map these onto some pattern papers from the collection. So there we go, there are the two photos and um, as I say, I'm going to bring in some pattern papers now. Now I had this tag that was previously cut from one of the 12 by 12 papers. So I think I'm going to use that above the photo of us. And now I'm just trying to pull out some papers that are really subtle that won't bring too many more colours in. So I start off with this blue, well it's a cream background with beautiful blue florals. So using that on that right hand photo of the river and then the one of us I find this pink one with tigers it's not my favorite paper I don't really like having animals <laughs> on my pages but trimming it down as a photo mat you don't see that it's tigers you just see those beautiful colors so I think that works really nicely and you can see I've just torn the bottom edges of each of those almost to create like an inst instax photo feel so just trying to work out exactly how I want that. And then I'm working on the title. So I decide I want to use these foam stickers 
because I've got them and um, I tend to save them for best. So I'm trying to be better at using things. So I just go for this title that says today. And that matches in nicely with that yellow at the top of the page. And then I find another banner that says life is beautiful. And I think that works really nicely. We'd had such a lovely relaxing time at Louise's. She did a barbecue for everybody. We met some new people, which was fun. And uh, it's nice to do something different, isn't it? I only know her from the school gates, but she's a really lovely lady. So just working out exactly where these are going to go. With the title. And then I'm going to add some foam pads behind because it's going over these layers of paper and I wanted the photos to be prominent on the layout. I decided today to add some foam pads. So these are the 6 to 25 mil foam pads on a roll that we sell at Hey Little Magpie. They're absolutely wonderful. You will have seen me using them plenty of times before if you've watched my videos. And I really love the um, height that they give to the photos. So again, fiddling and faffing, trying to work out whether I want foam on the second picture, but I definitely do. <laughs> so just tucking some foam in there. And I don't need any on that other corner because it's lifted by the papers behind. So I should get that situated. And that's exactly how they're going to sit. So, of course, I've stuck it down without putting the tag behind. So I'll just trim off the excess. I can use that in a future layout, I'm sure. And I was just toying with the idea of adding the tag to the bottom here. But in the end, it does appear at the top of the page. So just roughing up the edges with my nails just to add a little bit more texture. And then this is where I decide to add that tag at the top. So just peeling, gently peeling off the pads so that I can add that at the top there. And now I'm going to come in with my T-square ruler to get this title down. So just using the ruler as my guide and laying those letters along the ruler. So start with the Y because I, want, I know where I want the word to end and then layer the rest on. And then this banner. I'm just doing this by eye because obviously it's curvy. So <laughs> just checking that I'm happy with the positioning of that. And now coming into my 12 by 12 sticker sheet and you can see I've really used an awful lot from this sticker sheet. It's one of my favourite ones that Simple Stories have produced. I felt that most things were very usable. Notably, I've not used the tiger yet, but <laughs> we'll see if that makes it to a future layout or not. So using a word phrase there and then I love this little bird on the floral branch. I just thought, think it works really nicely with these photos. So adding some foam pads behind just so that you can stand up and overlap that photo there. Just trimming down the pieces to add to the tail because the foam stickers are a little bit too big. And you can see there, I've managed to go and cut my scissors, which I was a bit annoyed about, but just I just use some 90% proof alcohol and that gets any stickiness off. I know Giselle has given a great tip to use um, lighter fluid. That also works really well for any stickiness that you need to get off scissors and things. So just getting that bird stuck down. And then I'm going to bring in some of these pre-stamped Ellie Studio label stamps. Um, a little circle there. And I decide to pop that up onto foam as well so the bird can sit on it. And then for balance, I'm going to add some to the bottom right hand corner as well of that right hand photo. So just one of the long tabs here, just trimming that off and using my circle, my hole punch to punch out those corners. So I tuck that under here and then decide that I want a circle there as well. So I'm just going to pull in one of the circle labels too. There we go. Just had to pull up that sticker to get that stuck down. And then just adding a bit of wet adhesive there underneath. And I love these labels. We do them on our printables and also this Ellie Studio stamp. And they're just great to add a little bit of interest and layers underneath your photos. 
So this one says complete bliss and I think that works beautifully. The other one that I've got in the right hand photo says a beautiful view. So again, a perfect sentiment. And I'm just going to have a quick look through this sticker book to see if there's anything else I can add. And I find this banner that says together. And of course I have to use that because the whole family was together. So next, a label. And I want to use it on the right hand side here, but um, it's going to be tough to pull up that sticker. So I just cut it in half and nestle it right next to the label. So it looks like it's tucked under. And then I use the other piece on the right hand side here. So as I continue to go through the book, I see this lovely big floral cluster. And I think that will work really nicely in the bottom left hand corner underneath that bird on a branch. And it does, it just brings that pink colour in a little bit more to the layout. And because that's flat against the page and the bird's raised, those layers work really effectively. So now I'm going to look at these circles and I spot this one that says you and me forever and forever and always. So I decide that I want to add that above those other circular elements. And then I need to bring another one in just to fill in that gap. Now this set does have a phrase on it, but I've covered that with the bird's tail. So all you see is the circle. And then just for balance, another one on the right hand side there that says today. So now I'm going to tie some wax twine through this tag. I decide on a silver grey, just to bring that bluey grey into the top of the layout that I've got everywhere else on these embellishments. So just trimming off the excess there. And then I shall add a dot of glue just to hold that in place. There we go. And that means that the bow won't untie, unravel. So journaling now. And it says, Charlie's mum, Louise, invited us for a barbecue to celebrate hers and Thomas's birthday. We had a lovely afternoon there, the four of us. Then a glorious walk along the River Mersey home. So now that's down, I'm just going to come in with some gold splatters using my number four brush to get some smaller splatters all over the page and I think I'm done but then I decide that I just want to add something to the bottom of the page so I end up um, cutting a snip in the bottom of the page and um, you'll see that in a minute first of all I'm going to add the date of course and, and underneath my journaling but this is where I snip the bottom of the page and just tear a chunk out and then I can add some grey paper behind that. And it just balances the layout somehow. I just felt there was something missing at the bottom there. So I've just got a scrap of this grey paper left. So I shall add that behind, curl the edges of the cardstock up. And that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do give it a like if you enjoy it. Ask any questions that you've got. I'd love to chat with you in the comments. Um, it does also help the algorithms with YouTube showing other people my layout, which I really appreciate. And other than that, I shall see you very soon for another video. Thanks again. Bye for now.